What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, it's fight week for the highly anticipated undisputed lightweight showdown between undefeated, undisputed lightweight world champion superstar boxer Devin the Dream Haney, who has 29 wins, no losses, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, 5 foot 9 and a half with a 72 inch arm each as he takes on Olympic two-time gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasily Hitek Lomachenko, who is 17 wins, two losses, no draw, 11 wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, five foot six, with a 66 inch army. They're gonna fight uh, May 20th, Las Vegas, Nevada, MGM Grand Garden Arena. With that said, it's fight week right now. And we're gonna have the grand arrivals today and obviously we're going to have a lot of build up and a lot of promotion for the fight and Lomachenko Devin Haney was interviewed Devin Haney stated that he wanted to make Vasil Lomachenko pay for making him wait for four years for this fight and Lomachenko he stated that Devin Haney he simply didn't have anything at the time you know that he wanted so there was no reason to fight him uh, but he said now that he has something that we want that will come after it makes it worth our while and we're going to do him the same way we did former super featherweight or uh, featherweight WBC reigning world champion superstar boxer, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. OK, uh, so Vasil Lomachenko, he's referring to his fight with Gary Russell Jr. that took place June of 2014. OK, he fought Gary Russell uh Excuse, uh, yeah, June of 2014, he won the majority decision victory over Gary Russell, who was 24 wins, no losses, no draws for the vacant WBC title. Okay, and uh, it was an entertaining fight. And Lomachenko, that was the only third, that was the third fight in his career, and he was coming off of a loss to Orlando Salido, and yet he got an opportunity. And Gary Russell wasn't happy that he was getting an opportunity coming off of a loss. Gary Russell couldn't understand that, but Lomachenko was on the fast track and they was promoting him big and he got the opportunity. He beat Gary Russell majority decision, a very close, entertaining, competitive fight. And there was an unofficial knockdown. Gary Russell actually knocked down Lomachenko, but it didn't get counted as a knockdown. And it should have been right. Nonetheless, he won the fight, but he was the underdog in the fight, Lomachenko, because he was coming off of a loss. He only had two fights in his career. That was the third fight of his career. And so because of that, Vasil Lomachenko was the underdog in that fight. And so now Lomachenko is saying, well, I was the underdog in that fight. OK, and I was the um. You know, I'm the underdog now against Devin Haney, and we're going to do the same exact thing to Devin Haney that we did Lomachenko, and everybody's going to be mad. Now, when he says everybody, I don't know who he's referring to. When he says everybody is going to be mad, uh, and he points to the Gary Russell Jr. fight, because there was other upsets that Lomachenko had, but I gather that he's pointing to the fact that he's the underdog and uh he he hasn't been the underdog outside of the gary russell jr fight up until this point in his career uh and he had suffered the loss to Orlando salito but he was the favorite and he suffered the loss for tia tia Fima lopez but he was the favorite in that fight so he's stating that he's going to do the same exact thing to devin haney and everybody's going to be mad again i don't know who everybody is that he's referring to that's going to be mad uh, that he defeats Devin Haney um, But I gather he's pointing to the fact That he's the underdog And some people are obviously going to point to The African American community Seeing as though that's what Gary Russell And Devin Haney has in common That's actually the only thing they have in common Well they are both technicians They both are great boxers They do both have fast hands But Gary Russell is a southpaw Devin Haney is an orthodox fighter Gary Russell is five foot four. Uh, Devin Haney is five foot nine. Uh, Gary Russell has faster hands than Devin Haney, uh, and you can make a case he has more power. Um, but you know they're they're completely different in their approach. Uh, but nonetheless, they're both technicians. So with that said, he didn't dominate Gary Russell Jr. He beat Gary Russell Jr. But he didn't dominate Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Again, he won a majority decision victory. And you can make a case if the knockdown was counted, he might have lost that fight. Okay. And he lost to Orlando Salido and he lost to Tiafimo Lopez. So 
Uh, with that said, you know, I think that this is an uphill battle for Vasil Lomachenko. I do think he's going to put his best foot forward because he understands that this is a last gas opportunity. Now, he's going to get other opportunities because uh, he just his he just gets pushed. OK, he's going to get pushed. He's going to get promoted. So he's going to get more opportunities. But uh, at this stage, you know, Lomachenko is going to be an afterthought. OK, he loses to Devin Haney. He can become a world champion again. Uh, he's talking about going back down to 130 and 126 uh, weight classes that he said is his natural weight classes. But he's been cam campaigning at 135 for quite some time. I don't know physically if Vasil Lomachenko can get back down to 126 or 130. I don't see how realistic that is of a, a possibility for him. But that's what he's claiming that he's really not, uh, um, you know, a, a lightweight. He's really he's short, but he has short uh, uh, limbs. You know, there's other fighters that moved up in weight. The difference is Vasil Lomachenko has short arms, short legs. You know, he has a long torso, but he's he has six, 66 inch arms. He doesn't have the longest arms. He doesn't have the longest legs. You know, and that that works against him, you know, uh, in these fights with guys like Devin Haney. I think Devin Haney's style, his jab, uh, his uh, ability, to, his mobility, his combination punches, uh, his range is going to be too much for Lomachenko to overcome. That's why they already planting the seed that, you know, Devin Haney is a heavyweight. Lomachenko made made it. Devin Haney's a heavyweight. Uh, and then you have uh, Shakur and Tank Davis backing that up, saying he's a middleweight. So, you know, that gives credence to what Lomachenko was saying. But nonetheless, uh, just stylistically, this is a bad matchup for Lomachenko. Devin Haney is going to back him up, use his jab, control the distance. Uh, Lomachenko is going to be, you know, uh, accurate. He's going to be slip, slippering. He's going to be slick. You know, uh, he's going to give Devin Haney problems, but not like many people are, are speculating. I think Devin Haney's going to win this fight pretty handily. I think he's going to make a statement. He's going to win this fight running away with his skill set. And, uh, you know, people are going to make up the excuse that Devin Haney was simply too big for him. But Lomachenko says he's going to do what he did to Gary Russell. He had a size advantage over Gary Russell. He don't have no size advantage over uh, Devin Haney. Gary Russell's also a, a southpaw. So, you know, um, he took Gary Russell's southpaw advantage away. Devin Haney's an orthodox fighter. So his right hand is going to be Lomachenko's kryptonite as De Lomachenko's left hand can be an issue for Devin Haney. The problem is he doesn't have uh, extremely long arms. So the fact that it's going to be hard for him to land a straight left hand on Devin Haney because he just simply doesn't have the arm length to do so, uh, that's going to make it a, 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 a serious issue you know, um, for uh, Lomachenko. And I think that, you know, he's going to lose this fight unanimous decision in favor of Devin Haney. And I won't be surprised to see Devin Haney actually knock down Vasil Lomachenko in this fight. Don't be surprised to see Devin Haney drop Lomachenko with a, uh, a inside hook or a straight right hand that, that Lomachenko just don't see. Or even if he see it, he gets dropped like he did with Jorge Linares. The angles, the, the footwork is not going to come into play. It's not going to be a factor like it was against everybody else. It's just simply not. Um, and uh, we'll see how it unfolds. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word, I'm gone.